Hi and welcome. I'm John and this is Unique Wargaming Terrain. Guys, welcome back. For everyone that's new, this is a Let's Build video. What a Let's Build video is about and what, what are they? I basically take a model kit and I'll show you guys how to build them. Now, there could be something wrong with the sprue, as in the instructions say one number, the sprue says a different number. It's a heads up to let you guys know. There could be parts of the model that when you're gluing, you have to be very careful with because it could break. Um, steering from the sprue, there could be things you need to be cautious of. If you are if you suffer with dyslexia or just not, you know, struggle with instructions in general, it's a visual way to help you. If you're interested in army, or you have an army, but you're interested in a particular model from that army, and I do let's build on it, this is all a visual way to help you guys out. You know, there's been so many great reports from you guys about buying models on eBay and not having instructions, and I've done let's build on it, and you find it so much easier to, to do. If you, you know, you want to you wanna buy a particular model, and you're not sure, Silent King, for example, I've had a few comments on that. Again, it's just to, to make all these hard models and all these models more accessible to you regardless of your age or regardless of your gender regardless of your your skill at building it's just to make them a lot easier for for all of you so for all my regulars here here guys i feel love thank you very much i see you in a second so what am i going to build today today I'm actually going to, I have a plan of action and I'm going to do the plan of action. And the plan of action is, is doing something from one box, then doing the, if there's a box with like two different factions in it, then doing something else from that box, but different faction, and then do something with polish shame and keep doing that way until that box is finished and go to the next box and the next box and so on and so forth. Now, the Battle Force Augustus box, yeah, I still haven't finished that box. I've got um, the Desolated Marines, Desolation Squad, and I've got the Heavy Intercessors in there. Now there's 10, Desolate, uh, 10 Desolation Marines in there. I'm going to build five today on today's video for you, the Sergeant and Four Normal Marines. The other five can be off camera. Um, so there's Heavy Intercessors to build in that box then. There have probably been two or three less builds time. Then that box done. The Soul Forge box, I think there's some incestors in there and the cultists, cultists that need to be done on camera because they're just body, arm, head, very simple. But anyway, we'll go through the stat lines first of all and then we'll uh, we'll go through tools and everything else. Now, obviously, you have four four to nine marines, one sergeant, so you could have a ten-man squad if you wanted to, which is actually just dirty. They have movement of six, weapon skill three, bliss skill three plus, strength four, toughness four, two wounds apiece, Two attacks on a Marine, three for a Sergeant, that's in close combat. Leadership seven, leadership eight, Sergeant, always leads Sergeant's leadership. Uh, three plus armor save. Now they come equipped with a bot pistol. Calisten, Calisten Launcher, am I pronouncing that right? Super Frag Rocket Launcher. <laughs> and Frag and Crack Grenades. Now the bot pistol stands the bot pistol. Calisten Launcher is a 36 inch range, heavy D3. So it's quite a nice, nice touch. Um, strength four, minus one AP, one damage piece. Blast is a blast weapon. This weapon can target units that are not visible to the bearer. So if you've got hit units in the way, this guy can bombard them. Um, Super frag rocket launcher is a forty-eight inch range, heavy D three plus three. Strength four, minus one AP, one damage piece. It's a blast weapon as well. I'm going to tell you about the Super Crack, but I'll show you the rules down the bottom here afterwards. Super Crack Rocket Launcher, 48 inch range, heavy one, there's one in one shot. It's strength eight, minus three AP, and D3 plus three damage. So to put that into perspective, if you're shooting a Space Marine and you wound him, you're going to be wounding probably on the threes. AP minus three, so his three up armor save becomes a six. <laughs> And it's D3 plus three, so you could you could wipe out one space marine. Well, you would be wiping out one space marine per turn, just with that one that one rocket. You have a Vengor launcher from I hope I'm pronouncing that right. 48 inch range, heavy D6, strength six, minus one AP, two damage apiece. It's a blast weapon, and this weapon can target units that are not visible to the bearer. 
fragment pack grenades, both standards. Okay. Target to optics. Each time the bearer makes a ranged attack with a, with a heavy weapon, add one to the attacker's hit roll. So that's pretty, that's pretty nice. With war gear options, all of the models in this unit can have their super frag rocket launcher replaced with one super crack rocket launcher. So they can take the super frag and change it to super crack, which is, I don't know if that's any better, but it is, you imagine, you imagine uh, nine of those shooting <laughs> the same target. They're going to actually massacre something. Okay, um, the Angels of Death, the combat squads, they can be five man teams. Uh, Signum. I hate when GW makes all these weird words up. In your shooting phase, each time this unit shoots, it, if it contains a Desolation Sergeant, you can select one model in this unit. Until the end of that phase, the model has a ballistic of 2 plus. So. I think the sergeant has the only one has the uh, target optics. But anyway, I don't know. It's pretty, uh, pretty heavy squad, pretty nice squad. And what I'm going to do is finish getting the spruce up and everything else, then we'll go through tools as always. Right, so everyone that's new here, tools needed as usual. Mold line scraper. Now you can use a hobby knife or some sort of surgical blade. If you're using a bladed, a bladed weapon, if you're a bladed tool, make sure you're careful because it's bladed. It's going to cut itself. And if there's anyone in the house, make sure they know you're using a bladed weapon not to scare you because sometimes people can walk up and escape by accident. Clippers, most useful part of our, of our kit. Now, I also have this lovely material. Everyone always tells me that they, they love this, using this material. This is a sanding block, okay? This is this big block of sand, sandpaper, or big block of sponge with sandpaper either side. And this is sanding sponge. It's the same thing, but this is a block. This is just comes in like a little sponge that you, you know, really small, a lot smaller. But this is what you can do to it. So you can fold it up and get into little, little bits, yeah? If you've got chains or you've got uh, piping or something, this is perfect. This is all. This is really handy as well because it's so blocky. You just really clean stuff down. You find that in hardware shop. Somewhere in the paint and decorating slash sanding paper. Somewhere maybe in one of those areas or in between them. But that's where you usually find that stuff. Um, let's see, it comes like this. See, it's a medium one. Yeah, this is. I've got a medium one here for um, like tanks and dreadnoughts and stuff like that. There's a fine one. Okay, and all I do is take a scalpel, uh, take a scalpel, take a um, Stanley blade, and just cut a piece off. Okay, loads of them here. Right, it's a plastic kit, so plastic glue. Now I do have super glue floating around in the background, just in case, but I don't think I need that. And so for everyone that's new, what we do now is we have a look at the sprue, and we ascertain what's what, so we can actually. Um, make it easier for ourselves. I'm looking at this. Okay, I've made a bit of a boo-boo there. I bought, there's two sprues, I bought both sprues up. But I forgot there's 10, there's 10 guys in the box, so five, there's five on each sprue. So let's have a look at the sprue. So these are legs, we can see the legs. Yeah, I've just counted them. It's one, two, three, four, five. There's body parts. There's more pistol holsters, there's more body parts, there's shoulder pads, yeah, there's backpacks, there's weapon arms, or gun arms, so with guns on them, there's the other arm to hold them. And some people say, well, why did you go through this and that? It's pretty straightforward what it is. When you look at a sprue like that, you go, oh my goodness me, where do I start? But if I'm breaking it down and showing you look, here's what this is, you, when you look at the instructions, you go, well, right, okay, that's pretty straightforward. And off you go, yeah? So I'm going to finish setting up. Oh, these are on 32 mil bases. I've got them all set up. Well, not set up, but they're in the bag next to me. So I'm going to start getting, finish getting set up, and I'm going to come back to you and show you what the first pieces are. So the first piece we need is 41, which is this piece here. Okay. I, my initial thought was all the bodies are the same, but they're not. I think all these pieces look the same. They look the same. But... Um, Oh no, no, there's still a bit sticking out. 
and the both sides of my grey stone. First one we need some 41, which is that piece there, and number 51, which is this last piece here. Okay, so I'm going to snip those two pieces off, clean them down, and come back and show you how they go together. Right, this is pretty straightforward. That just goes in there. Okay. I've got a funny feeling all the rest of the Marines' body is going to be the same. So when it comes to building them, all I'll do is show you is this one and this one. Okay. And I'll glue them together because there's no point in me taking it off and showing you each individual one that go together like this because they're all the same. They're not all the same per se, but they go together the same. So I'm going to glue these two bits together and come back for the next two pieces. Right, so the next two pieces are his legs, which are number 42 and 43, which are these two pieces right here, which is very straightforward, just next to each other. I want to slip those off, clean those down. Um, there's no panic for trying to separate them one leg, one leg, because there's only one way they can go on. Okay, so I'm going to slip them off, clean them down, come back and show you how they go together. All right, so it's very straightforward. Okay. There is a little a little bit on the leg there and there's a little hole there that just slots into there i'll say simply it does a slot into there and the other one same it's like a little bit there there's a little bit there that just slots in that was slotted on a lot easier then i'm going to glue those into place and then come back for the next piece Right, so there he is. So the next one he needs, or oh, I just noticed there's a dirty mold line just along there to front of his shin. So yeah. But if you if you find things like that after you've glued, don't panic. This is where this comes in. Wait for it all to dry and you just give a little quick once over with that brand. Now you've got an option of 55 which is his bolt pistol, arm holding a bolt pistol, or um, 53, which is this arm here with a little, little bar on it. it. looks like a knuckle duster, but it's not. If you're taking that one, you then need number 54, which is a little box, if I can see it. Where are you? There's 54. So the hand connects into that, so he's carrying like a, uh, magazine of ammunition, but I'm going with the bolt pistol. Okay, so I'm going to slip it off, clean it down, and show you how that goes on. Right, so for anyone that's got a space screen, you know where this goes. Anyone that doesn't, this arm just goes on there. Okay. So we have the start of this Desolator Sergeant. So the next, I'm going to find the puzzle. That's fine. I'm not going to find them because I'm looking for it now. Number 52 gun arm we want now, which is this bad boy here. Wow. So I'm going to slip that off and clean that down. And we need number 65, which is one of those sort of round parts. It's up here. Okay, so they're all, there's no panic, they're all 65. So one of these guys, yeah, and his actual rifle. 52. So I'm going to snip that off, snip one of those off, clean them all down, I'll show you how they go together. And so this little bit, I've always put some glue in there, as you can see, there's a little circle hole in the little circle hole, and there's a circle bit there, and this just slots on there like so. Okay. And then what this arm does, this arm goes on there. Okay, so I'm going to glue that into place, and then I'll come back for the next piece. Next part we need is number 56, which is this part here. Yeah, but don't get confused there, because you can see, actually, no, that's wrong. Wait, that's a mistake on, oh no, that's the piece I need, sorry. That's the piece I need. <laughs> this one here. I thought it was that piece, but it's not. It's this piece, 56, yeah, and 57, which is right next to each other. This piece and this piece. I'm going to slip them off, clean them down, show you how they go together. Well, this is a bit where it starts getting very difficult. So, snap a bit of glue on there. 
that goes on there like so okay So I'm going to glue and hold that to place and I'll come back for the next piece I'll just come there okay, so I'm, going to, I'm actually going to leave that to dry for a minute before I start fiddling around a bit so the next piece we need is number 60 which is one of these backpacks so these three this one actually they're all, they're all numbered 60 sorry all of them are number number 60 so it doesn't matter which backpack you, you take take so i'm going to just clip one off clean it down and i'll show you how it goes on right again this is straightforward so you glue in the back there the back of him that just literally slots in there like so okay put your space in backpack nice and easy he's still freestanding as well so the next one we need is number 61 which is shoulder pads. All of the shoulder pads are the same number. Okay. One, two, three, four, five. So there's enough shoulder pads for each marine. So I'm going to sip two of these off, get them clean down, and I'll show you quickly how they go on. Right, these are very straightforward to go on. So what we do, check some glue on here. Take a shoulder pad, and literally it just goes on as advertised shoulder pad same on this side it wants to stay on very straightforward so the next piece that we need yeah, I'm just going to find him. Hold on one second. And the next bit we need for the sergeant is 58 and 59. These two shoulder things. And there's all different ones here as well. The other, other guys, one, two, three, four, five. There's actually five here plus the sergeants. So I'm going to snip the sergeants off, clean them down, and I'll show you how they go together. Right. So I have a little bit of glue on there. So that just slots in there like so. Like so. Nice and easy. So we'll leave it dry for a minute. I'll come back for the next piece. Right, so what we're going to do now, take his magazine belt. That bit just clips into there. And this bit sits around on his hip. Like that. Okay, so I'm going to glue that into place. And this little piece. This little shoulder mount screws onto there. And this little hole there, it just screws into out there. So I'm going to glue those into place, come back and show you where the head is, and then glue into his base, and we'll move on to the next guy. Right, so the next one thing we need is his head, which is either 64 or 63. Okay, I'll just flip that around so you can have a look. So one is unhelmeted with the last bit of armor going across his jawline, the other one's helmeted with a little skull on his forehead. Which I, I like I like both of them actually. Um this one's a normal space marine helmet type thing. So I'm gonna take the one with no helmet on, pushing my boundaries, because I know I'm gonna have to paint skin. So I'm gonna take that, clean it down, and I'll show you how it goes on this well, it just goes in the gap there. And it's you know it's pretty expect self explanatory. So I'm gonna clean that off, glue it into place, glue them onto a base, and then we'll come for the next piece, which is to finish his his actual gun off. But because he's the sergeant, <clears throat> I'm going to give him the weapon that only the sergeant can have. So what I need is 73, which is this piece, 72, which is this piece. I want to snip those off, clean those down, I'll show you how they go together. And so this is pretty straightforward. There's a little curved bit at the back there. There's a curved bit at the front there. That just sits in there. Okay, to give you the and don't worry too much about that because I guess covered up in a minute. Okay, so I'm going to glue that into place and we'll come back for the next pieces. Right, so the next piece we need, we have an option. So we can have 
the one that's open, yeah, firing, about to fire a missile, or the one that's closed. Let me flip it around so you can see. So this one is open with a missile, this one is closed. Um, I don't know, I like the one that's open. I do like the one that's open. Yeah, I'm going to go with the one that's open. So I'm going to click that down, clean that down, and show you how that goes on. And the way this goes on is very simple. There's a little, little rectangular square in the middle there. There's a little rectangular square there. So that goes on there, like so. So I'm going to glue it into place, and we'll come back and have a look for the last piece. All right, so this gun now just slots on there like that, okay? But you need to be aware, this little bit here has to slide into the, into the gun. See where it goes in? Just down there. There should be something like that. Yeah? Now, on the instructions, the gun arm is supposed to be up a little bit more, but I've done mine different because I'm special. So, I'm going to glue it into place and it's him done. <clears throat> now, what I was going to do, I was going to glue... Um, all of the squad now. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to glue the next model, but they come with the Super Frag rocket launchers. So I'm going to glue them together and then show you how to do one of them guns. And then glue the next one together and show you how to do a Super Crack missile onto them. So there'll only be three models glued, and I'll just glue the rest off camera because I've got ten of these guys. So I'm thinking maybe just doing five with the Super Crack and five with the Super Frag. I'm not sure. Um, or even if I do the other unit of Super Frag, I don't know, it's just, I'd probably, I'd probably just, yeah, I'd probably do five Super Frag and five uh, Super Frag, or four Super Frag and him, have two different squads. But yeah, that's what I do, I'll show you one of each, and then, then we'll go from there. Now, so for the next guy, I need number 44, which is this piece, and number 41, which is the sergeant piece. I was like, what the hell's going on here? They've made a mistake. It boggled me for a little bit. Then I realised, no, there's two sprues, identical. So I showed you, I was just showing you how to make the first sergeant, and the second sergeant uses 41 and 44. So won't worry about him. We move on to the next piece that we need, which is number two, which is this piece here, and number one, which is this piece here. So I'm going to stiff them, glue them together. I don't stiff and clean them, I should glue them together. I don't show you that because I've already done all that. So now we leg, need the legs number three and number four. And I can clip and clean them to go on the same way. Right, so then his gun arm is gun number five, which is this little one here. And then one of number six, one of these 65s. Again, that goes on the end there, straightforward. Um, so I'm going to clean those off and glue those together and then glue them to my end. Now, one thing I want to show you, times two. Yeah, so the way they've done it is it's times two. So you're doing this model twice to give you two men in that squad because there's two different sprues. There's two sprues the same. Um, and some people are going to give out because they said to the next guy, yeah. Oh, but what legs are for the for, you know for the fourth and the fifth guy? But it's you know it's pretty it's pretty straightforward because you're gonna have two bodies left. You're gonna have two sets of legs left. You're gonna have two weapons left. Okay. Um, so I'm going to clean his gun off and then glue the two bits onto it and show you D6 actually. D6 here. 6 is this one here. So this is his arm as well. So I'm going to clean that, clip that, clean that. Number 5 and one of those little, one of these little things. I'll show you how they all go together. And so it's very self-explanatory with the way the arms go on. Same as the other guy. Except these guys, this guy's gun goes on that side and this one goes on this side but you see his hands like that so the gun barrel sits in his arm in his hand sorry so what you want to do is glue this side on first and just hold it until it's not set but until it sort of takes then glue this arm on and then it gives you a chance to adjust this arm with the other arm because plastic glue gives you some time to play with and then adjust it and just move it up so that it sits nicely. But I'm going to do that off camera and come back for the next pieces. 
Right, so the next piece needed is number eight, which is this piece here, number seven, which is this piece here. It goes together the same way as the last one and connects into the side of the gun the same way as the last one. So I'm going to slip those off, glue those together, those two bits together, and then I'll come on to, I won't glue it straight into him, I'll leave this a set for a little while, and we'll come on to the next pieces. Right, so the next thing you need is two shoulder pads and a backpack. I'm going to slip them, clean them, and glue them on. Shoulder pads go on the shoulder, backpack goes on the back. Okay, so I'm going to glue them on and we'll come back for the next piece then. Okay, I've just been looking at the instructions, looking at the sprue. Paid a bit, little bit more attention to the sprue and was like, oh, actually, that's a bit nuts. All of these ones are the, so we crack missiles, yeah? They're all numbered 69. Okay, now when you have these, you have an option where you're having 70, which is the open missile pods, or 71. Yeah, which is the closed one, glued at the front there. Now, I didn't imagine, let's look at something. Yeah, so you imagine, look, there's little grooves in there that the missile would sit into if you're gluing that onto there. And these ones are open, so you've glued it over the top. So I thought, okay, I don't need to show you that one, it's very straightforward. And it sits on the gun the same way as the first one did. As this lad did. Okay. Because remember, the gun underneath, is uh, they're going to come start with now? So then that, that puzzled me. So it looks again. These are the super frag ones, yeah. They're all 99. This is a bit of gold top of them. Some of them are 67, and the others two of them are 68. Now, the difference with them is they're closed pods, they're open pods. But because all these are the same, the connection is going to be the same. So I don't need to show you all of those. I'm going to show you one anyway, but I don't need to show you the rest of them. Um, so this guy built here, there's one on this sprue, one on the other sprue. Okay, so the next guy, or the next thing I want to show you as well, depending on what heavy weapon you, you're taking, the super crack or the super frag, number six, is it number six? No, this guy's number 10. So number 10, yeah. Number 10 now is for the, the small one is for the super crack. Yeah, the bigger one is for the super frag. Okay, so you can see there's 19 and 20, there's um, 29 and 30 here, then there's 39 and 40, 49 and 50. Very straightforward. Now, bear in mind, there's two of these sprues. So that's, that leads me to think, okay, well, let me just, I'm going to finish this guy off here, but let me show you the rest. But the next guy, let's get this straightforward, is number 22, which is this one here, and number 21. Okay, very straightforward again. There's two of them. So this sprue and the other sprue. It's exactly the same. Then it's 24 and 25. Well, there's 24. 24, 25. 24. Sorry, 23 and 24. So there's 24. There's 23. Yeah. His gun arm is 25. Which is this one here. Very straightforward, yeah. It's just below the the guy holding the the bit. He's also got a twenty six arm, which is this one here. Yeah, so this is the first one we took. This is the next one. Then he has his shoulder pads, his backpack is normal, all the same. He he is twenty seven and twenty eight, which is these two lovely bits here. Again, it goes in the same way, connects the same way, and everything else. Then you decide what rocket pod you're going to put on him, whether it's going to be the super crack or the super frag. And there's two of them, because one on this sprue and one on the other sprue. Which would mean the next guy is, where are we? 11 and 12. So there's 12. And there's 11. Okay. And the legs are 13 and 14, which is 13 and 14. So it's all of those gone, so they only lose one guy left. I don't need to show you that one because there's only one left. His gun arm is, where am I looking? Number 15, which is this lonely one down here by itself. And he's, obviously, again, he has one of those little uh, 65s. And they all have that one there. Then he's, um, and he has a 16, which is the hand. Uh, where are we? Which is this one. Yeah, 
to hold the gun. Then he has 17 and 18, which are these two here. Again, it goes on the same way and everything else. And then you choose whichever rocket pod you want on him. And the little sensor thing on top. And obviously the Space Marine helmet, I keep forgetting about that. They're all 62. Sorry, they're all 62 helmet. Even these two over here are 62. The only ones are different than the sergeants. And then the last, the last guy is... Oh, I'm looking at the same page again, sorry. I'll just flip the page. That might be... No, sorry, the last one is... Yeah, that's, that's the last one. Yeah, so that should be all of them built. But bear in mind, what you do on this sprue, you don't do another sprue. Now, you'll see all these gun pouches. There, there's 67, 66 and 67. I presume one of those is going to be for the sergeant. But then there's another three here, so three, four, five. So one's going to be sergeant, and there's going to be one for the other guys. These are optional. Okay. And also what I noticed around the place, it's all the purity seals. There's two there. Any more on this sprue? There's no more on this sprue too. There's enough on this three. There's four. There's five. Now they're all they're all numbered differently from 81 to from 79, sorry, to 83. But again, they're optional, but they're pure so you can put them wherever you want. You put on the leg, on the arm, on the shoulder, it doesn't matter. Just showing you that because I don't see the point of me continuously sitting here doing one of each when that's 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 very straightforward, you know, doing these. Um, or the frag ones are very straightforward. I'm going to do the frag one anyway, but they're very straightforward. So um, I'm going to glue his gun bit on, his magazine bit on, glue glue one of the heads into him, and glue a little targeting thing on, on, on the back of him, yeah, on his shoulder pad, on his shoulder backpack, sorry. And then I'll come and show you how to do the frag, and then that will pretty much be done. Because it is very straightforward. I mean, looking at looking at the instruction, it's very straightforward. That's the super frag. That's the super crack. That little shield thing means you can use either one of those. Okay. So anyway, I'm gonna get on with that and come back to you when I'm ready for the super crack missile. The super frag missile. I was meant to be showing you this. I just put it together. Basically, there's two holes. One on that side, one on that side, and it just pins in there, nice and easy. Obviously, you're doing the other one, they'll just slot on there, so it's really universally done. Now, you can see that, that little square inside and that little rectangular line that just sits on top of the gun. Very straightforward. Like so. Oh, let's get rid of that. <coughs> now we have one crazy ass Tesla, I mean, it doesn't understand this base. Very, very straightforward. Now, I said this before, but see the little bit on his backpack there? It's not an issue. This little number bit you missed, just drop a bit of plastic glue on it, don't melt it down to nothing, or wait for it to dry. And then once it's dry, come back in with some sanding sponge. The one thing I do as well, when I put him on the base, I just run the little plastic glue around, the, around his foot. Not just him, but any, any, any model, just to secure that a little bit more. And that's it. They are very, very straightforward. The sergeant was a little bit fiddly with special, a little bit fiddly with special weapon. But let's see, I don't need to show you the rest of them because it's, it's the same thing again and again and again. Um, the only difference is the legs that, that I've gone through already, and, and that might be gibberish. And I, if it is, check on below, and I do apologise. So, I, you know, when this video goes up, check on below straight away if, you, if it's a gibberish to you and an old. Try and address it on the weekly Wednesday and just go through it a little bit and make it a little bit easier for you. And thank you for watching, guys. Now, if you're not subscribed to the channel, please hit the subscribe button. It costs you absolutely nothing. And it helps the channel out in a massive, massive way. Turn your notifications on so you don't miss anything. And just everyone just smash the thumbs up button so it triggers YouTube to share this video with more and more people. And thank you, everyone, for watching. Thank you for everyone that supports the channel for as long as you have. And I'll tell you what, the next time the Space Marines go to the battlefield and play off against Mark in a game, which could be could be tempting issue actually, because the Space Marines and the Tyrion's in the box, so that's, that's the plan. These guys are going to be on the table. There's going to be some 
badass guys on the table. But anyway, guys, until next time, thank you for watching. I'll give you some pretty pictures now, but take it easy, guys.